Hi, I'm Pastor Keeman Dumas. Welcome to another episode of the I Care Podcast. I am so blessed to be with you for this week. And if you've been blessed at all this week, I want you to please, please leave a comment down below. Let us know how you've been blessed. Let us know how God's been speaking to you. And let us know how this series has impacted your life. We would love to hear from you. We know that God is moving in your life, and we know one thing for sure, not only do we care for you, but God cares for you. We've been talking about one topic this week, and that topic has been waiting, waiting on the Lord, what to do in that waiting season, what happens when we wait. And so I want to, uh, and God placed it on my heart to just pray for you today, pray for you this Friday morning, because some of you are have been in that place for so long and and you know that God promised it to you but because it's been so long you're starting to doubt some things that God said you're starting to doubt the place in where you are or because you've been waiting so long you're, you're you're feeling weary but God is here to take the burden God is here to guide you and God is here to strengthen you in your faith so I want to pray for you this morning Bow your heads with me. Father God, I thank you for every person who's tuned in listening to this online. God, I I know what I don't know whatever season they are in in their lives right now, but God, I know that you see them. You are the seer. You know the positions, you know the places, you know the uh, 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 arenas that you have called them to, God. And God, you know the places they are in right now. But God, let them not be disheartened. Let them not get discouraged. Let them not be fearful of the journey. Let them not be afraid of where they're going. Don't let them not be uh, uh, afraid of what you're doing, God, but let them be strengthened in the fact that you are building them for something great. You have called them. You have chosen them. You love them, and God, you are their keeper. Father, whatever situation, whatever challenge has come against their lives, try to take them out, God. We know that you're working it around for their good, God. And we know that your hand is on every person who believes on you's life. And God, we trust you with your word, God. You promised us it for a reason. You put it on their heart for a reason, God. And so God, we expect you to bring it to pass in every person's life. We expect you to come through in their lives. God, you are Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. You are our keeper. And God, we expect you to be that in our lives. And God, we don't doubt your faithfulness for one moment. We don't doubt your goodness for one moment. But God, we trust you. We put our lives in your hands. God, we we, we, uh, surrender it all. God, we let go of our own lists. We let go of our own desires. But God, we're in sync with your desires. And God, we ask you to create within us an humble heart. Create within us an humble heart, God. Remove any pride. Remove any proud feelings, God. But God, create in us an humble heart. Create in us a heart to serve. Create in us a heart to grow. Create in us a heart to listen for your voice. And Father, as we serve, as we come humbly before the throne, we ask that you lift us high. We ask that you comfort us, and we ask that you keep us, Father. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy, God, and I call it done in every person's life online. Whatever you have promised, whatever you have spoken, God, it's done in their lives, and you are moving in their lives, and you are speaking to them right now in this very moment. God, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you for who you are and what you have done, God, and we rejoice because you are good. Father, we praise you, we honor you, and we lift you high at this time and at all times. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Hey, I hope that you were blessed by that prayer, and I hope that you walk in a place of humbleness, you are willing to wait, and that you are listening for God's voice. God loves you very, very much, and we know that he is faithful to his word. We can't wait for the next set of episodes of I Care. So we want you to tune in next week for the I Care podcast on Monday. 
And we know that God is going to speak and bless you as you continue to be a blessing to others. Share this podcast with other people. Share these messages with other people because they need the encouragement just as much as you do. We'll see you next week for a new set of episodes. We love you and we care for you.